In a way that's like the least architectural thing you could build. A heap. Yeah. <laughs> Any individual building in it seems like it might have started with one kind of model and then somebody and then just started ears, adding. Yeah. Like little peaks, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, every time somebody who works for me tries to say this is really difficult to do, I was like, well, look guys, in 1200 they built this. Right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Benjamin Ball. I'm an artist working in public spaces and an architectural designer. Hi, I'm Alexis Redinger. I founded an architecture and hospitality design firm called Preen, located in Chinatown in LA. On today's episode, we're going to look at some open world gameplay. Let's get into it. What city is this? It's kind of a mashup of New York, Manhattan, and maybe throw in a little... Uh, a little Chicago? Yeah, but I think of that tower there on the right smacks of Shanghai. Look at it, snowy. Yeah. Can you imagine if our architectural models back in the day had snow? Well, it's, it's easy to get that now. You can just make that all in twin motion. If I was super busy, this is how I'd like to get from meeting to meeting. Right. Unless they ran into one of you guys' installations. Right. <laughs> right, which would be like a be big perfect. spider web to catch this guy. In. I think they should add it to this one. Totally. <laughs> they even did the HVAC. Do you think that's accurate? Do those look like, how many <laughs> tons are those units? A little bit, but I think the code of being 10 feet from the roof edge was off. This looks like it might be partly a scan of the city and partly something constructed, right? I don't know. I mean, do you think they just texture mapped? Yeah, like they just texture mapped it. See, there's the Pan Am building. That's New York. Yeah, that's Grand Central Station. Right. Here he goes, he's going into Grand Central. <laughs> Grand Central Station after the renovation. I think trees have gotten a lot better in models. They're way better than models. <laughs> Yeah. Everything's so cinematic. Pretty soon you're not going to be able to tell the difference. No, that's happening. The renderings these days, it's amazing. Kind of looks like a wayward uh, speed skater. Gotham City, cool. Sort of Blade Runner, right? The really rain, the neon, it's a little Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. That looks like the Orange Tower at Six Flags. It does. It, <laughs> it looks like some kind of mashup of the Eiffel Tower and a traditional Chinese pavilion. <laughs> right, Pagoda. Yeah. Pagoda Paris. Yeah. <laughs> With gargoyles, of course, because it's Gotham City. A little London. To me, like, the starting place for Gotham City is always New York. But then this version of it seems like they've mashed in some little Shanghai, little Tokyo. You know, like, any individual building in it seems like it might have started with one kind of model and then somebody and then just started ears, adding. Yeah. Like little peaks, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. It's all the vibe, right? Gotham City, to me, always has to have an element of gothic. To it. It's got to feel dark, it's got to feel foreboding, and not just gothic in the architectural style of gothic, but gothic in the sense of like gothic sensibility, embrace of darkness. Okay. Saint Denis. And this one's got the macabre too. How are you? Is it Beaumont, Texas? I mean, maybe. Like the whole construction, the vibe's amazing. They're getting a few details in there that don't look so 19th century. If it's an old Western, you gotta think it's pre-1890, right? But there's a lot of aspects of this that don't look 1890 to me. Like architecturally? Downright, yeah. Yeah, I think 20s. the buildings look more like 1910, 1920. Yeah, and there's an electric oh. streetcar. He just got transported maybe 30 years into the future. <laughs> it's a time horse. <laughs> Oh, I love the light. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it, can you imagine if our renderings had looked like this back in the day? <laughs> now it's, it's amazing. easy. I'm trying to see what the building facades look like. Yeah, it looks a little New Orleans, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little. With the porches. Could it be a tiny bit Charleston, but like a darker Charleston? Yeah. Do you think he's getting into the worst part of town? <laughs> Maybe. It's got to be New Orleans. With yeah. That kinda... Yeah, there's the iron filigree. That's New Orleans. Cemetery is... Yeah, oh yeah. Do we have those, drippy moss? Yeah. Drippy moss. You have those low walls. Back at the trolley. The trolley. That's like the trolley in the Garden District of New Orleans. 
Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Not to be confused with Notre Dame. I had a client I was working with in France, and she called me during the day of the burning, and she was hysterical. She was in tears. She was... Mm. That tragedy ran through the whole country. This looks like a kind of a Les Miserables yeah. version of Revolution. Uh, revolutionary times. Absolutely. He's got that Victor Hugo look. I mean, it is amazing when you go in those old cathedrals, the amount of height they were able to capture. And when it's all the flying buttresses. Yeah. I bet we'll see one in a minute. Yeah, every time somebody who works for me tries to say this is really difficult to do, I was like, well, look guys, in 1200, they built this. Right. I think they got this right. <laughs> like, I think like back at that time, cathedrals were a little less restricted. The interiors of them weren't so precious. The general public was in there. It looks, it looks great. Really, yeah, I mean, I'd wager that they probably got it from somebody who had built a really good model of it. Was the part above the rose window accessible? The arcade up there? Yeah. Well, not maybe to the general public, but there would have been people up there hmm. maintaining the bells, I guess. <laughs> and that would have been like a really key observation point for the city. And do you know how they chose the statues? I'm guessing they're saints. They're saints. Recently dead, been made a saint. Right. And then you get your statue? Yeah. Because you're a saint because you donated so much to get the building built, maybe? <laughs> No, come on. This I don't, is where you I don't had believe that. I don't think he would have been able to jump like that. So this is the part that burned. That was all scaffolded, and the underside of that is made of wood, mm -hmm. and there was an electrical fire under it, as I recall. The whole core Ooh. of the building burnt out. Can you imagine working up there like that in 12th century? Or, or now. Even now? <laughs> They must have had a lot There's of the casualties dishes. building these things. It's like the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Right. There are a ton. Yeah, they didn't have they... OSHA at the time. These must be more saints. But I wonder how accurate this model is. Like, how, how detailed is it? If somebody really knew the canon of the Catholic Church, would they be able to tell you who those saints uh, were? Or did... Like, did they get the faces of the saints? Right, exactly. I bet architecturally it's accurate. Because you're, if you're going to spend all this time doing this, you're going to get obsessed with it. There uh -oh. he is. Where do we go now? <laughs> now he's gonna jump and pull the rip cord. I don't know what there is to comment architecturally about Stonehenge, because we don't really understand anything about it, other than they moved the rocks there. Yeah, but it does align with the solar cycle throughout True. the year. So like it marks the vernal equinox and the solstice. They have 3D mapping down right. oh, way back then. It's like 3D <laughs> projection mapping. Well, I like how this game is suggesting another layering, right? Yeah, is this what like the Druidic clan would have this, drawn on all these this things? This is like back? the Burning Man version of <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, see, look at the lines. Oh, I get it. Ah. ah the portal. I wanted to know what was gonna happen next. Oh, Giza. Have you ever been? No, I've always wanted to go, and when I was in sixth grade, I built these out of sugar cubes. It's very involved. In a way, that's like the least architectural thing you could build. A heap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the, the whole process of, of moving the, the stone is what's yeah. fascinating about it. Yeah, I mean, they're made of more or less solid stone. There's tunnels within them. They effectively built a mountain. It's just stacked. I think it's just so much mass. Yeah. You know, like if it were a 12-inch wall, there's an erosion factor, but right. this is like massive, massive blocks. It's not hollow. It's not like walls. It's, it's, it's a big heap of blocks that weigh several tons each. <gasps> This is a part of the pyramid that you don't often see. Like, they've covered it in some kind of lime cement, right? Is it like flat? Yeah, and it's flat, and that's what it was originally like. So they put monolithic. the blocks and then filled in? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, so what we're seeing is like an eroded state of it. You've heard the theory about the water in this one, right? In Giza? Well, there's a million theories, but that, you know, back in the day, Egypt was so much more lush. There's an idea that water could have activated these and created some sort of electricity, I think. What? I've not heard that. I'd have to go back and fact check. Yeah. <laughs> I don't subscribe to the theory that they were built by aliens. Right, right. <laughs> 
I want him to discover a, a hole so he can actually enter into the mass. Because mm. there's always like some tunnel and some, there'll be like a shaft that light will penetrate only one day a year. There's gonna be something up there. It's like all the video games, right? Here he goes, he's gonna look down in. Command it to the top. The architecture and pulling from the history of the architectural styles mm -hmm. really creates a groundedness that gives authenticity to the game. It seems like they're taking models of existing buildings, but then they're like fixing it up to make it more cinematic. If you want to see more of Experts React, check it out on Gameology, Facebook, and YouTube. If you want to see more of our work, you can check us out on Instagram at Ball Noguez. Check out preeninc.com or Instagram at preeninc. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Oh, we're all done. Are you guys going to be able to get anything good out of that? Are you taping? Yeah, yeah man. I, I gave up my SAG card a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Try that. <laughs>